Today we're going to talk about life as a parent and why it is important as a parent to, to train and exercise and then we're going to give some tips on how to make that happen. I had my second daughter January this year right after the new year so I've literally been living this for the last six months. Um, so Congrats. you're going to help me uh, get even better at this but we're going to talk about what I've been doing and, and where, uh, where I can improve. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, good. So, well, first, let's dive right into why it's so important to be exercising uh, soon after having a new baby. A lot of benefits to it. Uh, first, for the mothers, remember that there's a lot of release of the hormone relaxin, which is going to, one, help the baby be delivered, but also it's going to cause a lot of joint laxity. So, just in terms of being injury free, that's one of the big things that you want to get back is having your body more stable, more secure, more firm, and uh, better able to get back uh, to things uh, as you uh, after just delivering a baby. And that's something we work with with everyone on the gym side of things here. Um, whether you're an athlete or general population, everyone loves being mobile, and that's a hot topic right now. But you need the stability to back that up. So we train that with everyone, but obviously there's more of an emphasis and a real importance to that uh, shortly potential, after having a baby. Potential risk for injuries for sure is a big one. So having a lot of joint stability uh, is key and implementing that in the program is uh, very crucial. So. Yeah, and then the need for core and back strength. Starting again with mothers, obviously you just had a baby. A lot of crazy and impressive changes going on with your body, whether you had a natural birth or a C-section, it's very important to build up some core strength, some back strength. The back is really part of the core, um, but again, that leads to stability. That leads to you being able to carry, whether it's the diaper bag, the stroller, your baby, sometimes all three, loan up the cars, stuff like that. Be pain-free, um, those midnight, uh, feedings and, and cradling the baby back to to sleep. It's Ooh. important that you could do that without pain. So again, we need to build back some of that strength and, in, and increase the strength that you already have. Absolutely. A lot of demand on the body physically after having a new baby. And uh, with that, obviously more demand, you're going to need to get your rest. Easier said than done, I'm sure. Right, Coach Francis? Easier said than done, but there is a quantity and a quality aspect to it. Definitely. And one thing that exercise is going to do is allow you to have higher quality sleep. You're, uh, you're, as you know, you're probably going to have less overall hours to sleep. So you got to get that in when you can. Uh, so being able to uh, fatigue the body so that you do have good rest is going to be crucial for you to have energy to be able to go throughout the rest of your day. Yes, it'll, it'll help a ton with being able to fall asleep faster. So if you're someone who has a tendency to lay in bed for a while, need things like the TV or a book to read to be able to fall asleep, getting some exercise in during the, in the day will help your body uh, rest when it's time to rest. Pivoting a little bit, there's a whole social aspect that can be uh, a part of exercising and training. Um, that could be anywhere from just some time spent with a coach, someone who's uh, around to listen to you. Um, as a parent, especially a new parent, you spend a lot of time with your kids. When you're a new parent or you have a, a newborn in the house, they can't even really understand you. Um, so just to be able to get out and communicate. And then if you are in a class aspect or you have a training partner, that's, that's a great social and community uh, benefit of of training. My two most consistent workouts throughout my week are I do a once a week I, I run with a few friends. Um, I rarely miss that. They hold me accountable. We have that scheduled at the beginning of the week. And then uh, spike ball with uh, my colleagues here, some of my coaches and um, it's competitive. And PTs here. <laughs> we get after it, but that's another one that we rarely miss. And not only do I get that exercise in, but I, I have that whole stress stress management and um, and social aspect. Uh, so not only did I get it in, but I really do feel mentally and physically better when I leave. Yeah, it sounds like your kids are the number one priority, but don't forget about 
taken care of, number two. Right? Exactly. Well, you know, get in where you can fit it in. Obviously, your, your job as a parent is to, uh, you know, put your, your children first, but you do got to make some time for yourself here and there. Absolutely. Sounds stressful. It can be. <laughs> well, that's a good uh, tie into uh, our last benefit that you get from exercise is stress management. Obviously, having a newborn baby, I'm sure there's a lot of crying, a lot of diaper <laughs> changes, a lot of accidents. Yeah, um, you're fatigued, they're fatigued. Yeah, absolutely. Mothers um, who are breastfeeding, that's a whole other uh, layer on there. But even if you're not, I mean, the whole process of, you know, of warming up the bottle, it's too cold, then it's too hot, and like in the middle of the night, it's 2, 3 a.m., you just want to get your kid back to sleep. Um, it can it can definitely be stressful. Oh, kids, sounds stressful. Um, but no, it's just in terms of physically, the hormone cortisol is always pumping through our bodies whenever we are in high stress situations. If that's going on for a long period of time, that's going to be very detrimental to your health overall. So managing that is going to be crucial for uh, both physically, but also socially, it sounds like, yes. keeping the home a happy one. Yes, yep. keeping yourself, you know, uh, just your head in the game, you know. It, as a parent, you don't really get days off or anything like that, so it's really important to manage that stress so that you can continue to be there for yourself and, and you know, obviously more importantly, your kids, day in and day out. Wow, absolutely. Well, that's a great benefit. Um, so now let's kind of go into some of the ways that uh, we can structure a good exercise program that's realistic to uh, being a new parent. So first things first, just remember, control what you can control, right? Yes, the, the, the main thing here I like to talk about is nutrition. Um, unfortunately, as a parent, there are going to be some rough days, some days where you have to pivot, um, call audibles, but what you can mostly control is nutrition. So meal prep where you can, have some quick meals, that are available for those days that are super hectic, you're running from doctor appointment to doctor appointment, or you have other kids that, you know, you're just, that day just ends up being a taxi service as a parent. Have some quick and easy meals um, that are also healthy. It takes less than five minutes to throw together a salad and, and a sandwich. We've been keeping cold cuts in our fridge and we love Dave's killer bread. They have the 22 seeds or whatever oh, it is. Yeah. And so whole high grains. in fiber, whole grains, exactly. Yeah. High protein. Um, so that's always an easy go. Just uh, throw, some, uh, throw some cold cuts on that bread, a little mustard, and you're ready to rock and roll. There you go. Um, ties in also to our next topic, routine. Create a schedule. Be consistent. You know, plan your week at the beginning of the week. No what your targets are um, and try to hit those week after week. So then you can communicate with your spouses and uh, or whoever's also involved in, in your kids' lives, helping you uh, take care of them, that they know what days, what times you are um, focusing on a little bit of you time. I also highly recommend doing this earlier in the day, first thing in the morning if, if feasible. There's just, if you get it up and you get it over with, there's just less things that can go wrong, less things that can detract you from getting it done. Absolutely, sounds like time is short, so you gotta make the most of it, right? Yes, absolutely. Goodness, well good. Um, one way that you can stay consistent on that, and again, time management is key, is to maybe think about hiring a coach or a trainer Having someone take that extra uh, time it takes to develop a program, develop an exercise routine, give that role to someone else. Uh, one thing that you know, a lot of people is when they first go to the gym, they don't have a solid idea of what it is they want to do, what they want to work on. Um, that's the whole point of developing a program. That way you go in, you see what day it is, bam, I get it out, knock it out, uh, get it done, move on with the rest of my life. Um, too much time I, I feel is spent in the gym trying to figure out what, it is, what am I trying yeah, to do, what there, am I there, trying to achieve. There are going to be days where you have 20 to 30 minutes to yeah. get something in. And if you have to spend the first 10 to 20 minutes even figure out what you're doing, that's, that's detrimental to your, to your session. The other thing is get an expert there who can evaluate what it is you need. They should be putting you through an assessment 
and then you have targets to, to go after in, in the, the gym. Um, we assess everyone here. We then write the program based off of their needs, paired with what they want and their goals. And again, that's less you have to worry about. And you're getting it done by an expert versus doing what you did maybe when you were in college or even pre-kid or back when you were an athlete. Look, you, you just need training to reflect what your needs are in the present as well as the big picture. Absolutely. Uh, it's really common for people to drop off their training when they're preparing for having a kid and being able to, uh, and so some things may change. So being able to uh, come back and then have someone focus on you, focus on your current uh, detriments, that is gonna be very valuable for your overall training. You're not gonna be wasting time. You're gonna be focusing on the things you need to focus on uh, and it's going to be a higher quality amount of training because it seems that when you're developing something, uh, you're having less rest breaks in between, you're getting a overall uh, higher overall workload uh, and it's higher quality. So. Yeah, and you're, you're taking the mental stress out of it. You can really just go enjoy your training. But Definitely. there's also a return of the gym, gym aspect of this that really should be monitored and, and have input from a professional, especially obviously if you're a mother. But if you're a father, and, and or any parent or anyone who took some time off from the gym, there should be a reintroduction and assessment of what you need and, and uh, a, a ramping up period. Um, the coach will also help hold you accountable. You're gonna have an investment in that, into them financially, an investment in them time-wise, and uh, if, you not, if you aren't meeting your, coming to your classes or your sessions, that coach is gonna, should be, helping you to, to figure out what roadblocks are stopping you from being successful. Absolutely, absolutely. And then, uh, so then you brought, you brought up a good point that returning to the gym, there may be some different things then that we're gonna be focusing on. So uh, your goals may be changing over time. So uh, being realistic with your expectations upon returning is gonna be very crucial. Uh, making sure that you're not jumping right back into maybe training you were doing a couple years ago where you could develop a possible overuse injury. These things happen all the time uh, when people take breaks uh, from training and then try and jump right back into a routine. It takes progressive overload to get the body to build back up and be strong enough and resilient enough to get back into a full uh, high intensity exercise routine that maybe you were doing previously back when you were in shape. Yeah, there's a re realistic component to, to, you know, the weights you're lifting, um, the type of movements you are doing, but there's also a realistic um, component to how many days a week are you getting a structured workout or training session in. My suggestion would be start off with a commitment to three, and then if you have a week where you have, or, or days where you can fit in more, Great, go do more. Maybe it's something that's even not quite part of your plan. It's something that's a little bit more uh, high tempo or kind of more on the fun fitness side of things. Or it could be driven by getting outside and enjoying uh, time in the sun and, and stuff like that. More of an, um, being active versus a structured workout. But the idea here is that you're committing to three times a week. You're nailing that goal and that's a great goal to start, and on weeks where that's all you can get in, you should have nothing to worry about, you ace that, and then on weeks where you do have some more time, great, go go add a little bit more on top of that, but don't spread yourself too thin. If you're expecting to get five in each week and you only get four, and then you have a negative attitude about the week, oh, I just failed. No, 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 you, you know, it was great that you even got four, but it's hard to get that out of our head, that, that one we miss, right? We're, Sometimes I have a tendency to focus on the negative, not the positive. So, especially when you're stressed, especially when you're tired. So, um, yeah, to simplify it, clarify it, set a set a realistic goal that you can knock out of the park, and then the days you have, days or weeks you have some more time, you can add on to that. Absolutely. So it sounds like having a baby is pretty life changing. It is. It's great. <laughs> Obviously, I have two girls now, and they are amazing. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful changed girls. me for the better 100% but uh, got to take a little time for me and with two girls 
it now requires twice the bicep. So <laughs> uh, the last little thing would be add in some extra curls for sure. Absolutely. Got to get those gains. So thank you so much for enjoying our doc talks for this week. Hope you come with some good tidbits, uh, good nuts to stay active as a new parent. Uh, it is possible. Uh, if you need any help uh, or assistance with this, please reach out uh, to us here at Elevate Sports Performance and Healthcare. We have a team of people here to help you. Uh, sometimes that just might even mean going into a dark, dark room and uh, getting stretched out or massaged. I've, I've used that once or twice on those tough days where it's Absolutely. just like. <laughs> take care of yeah. yourself so you can take care of everyone else, right? Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Take care.